All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to break down step by step how to set up your conversions API with Shopify. Let's get it. All right, so before we get into the setup, let's talk a little bit about why the conversions API is so important, okay? So if you've been doing online marketing for a little while or even recently, you probably know what the Facebook pixel is. If you don't know what the Facebook pixel is, comment below, maybe we'll make a video explaining that, I don't know. But us marketers, we have really relied on the Facebook pixel to be able to tell us how our ads are performing, right? If someone comes to my website and makes a purchase, the Facebook pixel will then take that data and it will send that data over to my ads manager and it'll tell me which ad actually was, was the one that generated the sale, which ads are making me money, which ones are wasting my money. So over the years, there's been different ad blockers and different things like that that have been trying to limit the pixel's power and being able to track people's data. And the big behemoth of this whole situation was the Apple iOS 14 update. So just in case you guys don't know, anyone who has an Apple uh, device and updates their software to uh, iOS 14 is gonna get a little pop-up that pops up and it's gonna say, hey, do you want to share your data so that you, know, you can be shown relevant ads? Now people can either opt out or opt in. Okay, so if they opt out, what that means is basically these pixels cannot track those people. Now this becomes a really, really big issue because let me just give you an example. Let's say that person updates their phone and they opt out of sharing their data. Then that person goes on Facebook, they see an ad, they click the ad, they go to the website and they make a purchase. Well, since that person opted out of sharing their data, that purchase will not be tracked by the pixel, meaning whatever advertiser that actually made that sale, they won't see that purchase show up in their ads manager. And those purchases will not be attributed to the ads, which then affects us as marketers. It affects our ability to uh, make decisions on our ads. We, we don't know which ads are working and which ones suck. So it's like kind of like a major issue, right? This is why the conversion API is so important. The conversion API is basically another way for us to track data, but the difference is this is actually tracking the data from the server side, right? So it literally tracks the data from Shopify's server and it bypasses all third-party uh, softwares and applications like Pixel. So regardless if someone opts out of sharing their data or not, if they go on and they make a purchase on that website, the conversion API will track that data and send that data back to Facebook so that we always know where that purchase came from, even if that person opted out, which is super dope. Just FYI, at the time of this recording, the conversion API is only tracking purchases. It's not tracking each step of the funnel, like view content, add to cart, initiate checkout. It's only tracking the conversions, the purchases. So that's all we have to work with right now, but hey, I'll take it. It's better than not knowing where the hell the purchases are coming from. You know what I mean? So I hope that makes sense. And if you guys have any questions about that, drop them in the comments below and I'll, I'll definitely reply and clarify on that, okay? With that being said, let's get right into it. Let me go ahead and show you exactly how to set this up, your conversions API with a Shopify store. Let's get into it. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and log into your Shopify dashboard. When you get there, go ahead and click online store and then go down to preferences. When you get to preferences, you're going to want to scroll down so you see um, setup Facebook. All right. And then it's going to take you to your Facebook setup. All right. So what you're going to do is you just want to verify that you have the correct Facebook account. Make sure that you're connecting the correct ad account that you're running your ads from. And then you're also going to um, verify the, the right Facebook page and all that good stuff. When you get done doing that, click this little thing that says data sharing. And then basically this is going to allow you to choose the sharing options, right? So you have three different options. You have standard, enhanced, and maximum. What we want to do is choose maximum. And if you read right below here, what it says is this option uses conversions API, which shares data directly from Shopify servers to Facebook. And this means that data can't be blocked by ad blockers. All right, so this is the option that you're going to want to choose. And then you basically come down here. You want to double check that you have the right pixel attached as well. I always go by the last four digits of the pixel ID and then come down here and, and put in the target country, um, whatever is, applies to you. We're going to go ahead and select the United States. And then once you get done with that, you'll go ahead and hit accept and finish setup. And this part will be done. All right. So now this will basically just pop up and go ahead and just hit got it. 
All right, so when you've completed this part, you've completed step one. Now you're gonna go over to Facebook for step two. All right, so when you get done setting up all the Shopify side, um, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your Facebook business manager. You can get there by going to business.facebook.com forward slash events manager like this, or just go to your business manager, click on the all tools, and then just click events manager right here. This will take you to the page where all of your pixel information is, okay? Once you get here, you're gonna see all of the pixels that you have right here. What you're gonna wanna do is select the pixel that you have attached to your website. Once you select that pixel, I want you to scroll over on the right-hand side and go to settings. Now, when you go to settings, you're gonna scroll down all the way down until you see advanced matching, and you're gonna wanna make sure that this is toggled on. What that's gonna do is it's going to be able to track um, people more accurately with more detail, so it's, it's going to get you better results with your Facebook um, pixel. And when you toggle this on, you can go ahead and hit show options. And this will give you all the different uh, parameters that you can track, basically, right? Different ways that you can match people. Um, and I personally just like to put all of them on. And the reason why is because I, I, want the, I want the pixel to know as much as it possibly can about my audience so it can make the best decisions um, moving forward, right? Basically, I'm going to make my pixel super smart <laughs> and it's going to know exactly who to go after because the, this advanced matching is on, okay? Once this is done, come back up here and then go back to overview. So what you're going to notice now that you set up your data sharing for maximum inside of Shopify, now that that option is selected, what you're going to be able to do is scroll down to your different pixel events. And when you come down to purchases, you're going to see now where it says browser and now it's also going to say server as well. So if you see the server that that means that the conversions API is set up properly and you are tracking events from the server side. Remember, now that's going to be tracking purchases regardless if people opted out of sharing their data or not. And if you go ahead and just uh, click on the purchase and let this expand. So on this graph right here, you're going to see two different lines. The blue line is representing pixel data and the green turquoise line is representing conversions API data from the server side. But basically now that your, your API is set up properly, um, you're going to be tracking all the purchases. Okay. So this is going to give you more accurate read on, you know, your, your purchases. Like I said earlier, right now, the conversions API is only tracking purchases, right? You see the servers only on this event. It's not tracking all the other ones yet. Hopefully they make that available really, really soon. But at the time of this video, that is not available. So it's only tracking purchases, but that's still really, really super cool. So after you set this up properly, you guys are going to be tracking purchases no matter what people do. If they opt in, if they opt out, if they got ad blockers, regardless, you guys are good. All right, guys. So that's how you set up the conversions API from Facebook into Shopify. If you have any questions about how we set that up or something didn't work for you or whatever, comment below. I do reply to every single person who comments on our channel. And we're always keeping our ear to the streets with new strategies, new tips, new things that basically get more results with your Facebook ads and making more money online. So if you're interested in stuff like that, definitely subscribe to the channel and drop a little comment below. Let us know if you got some value from this video. Plus that'll let the algorithm feed this video out to more people, which supports our channel. And we really do appreciate that. All right, guys, Rich from Anywhere Squad. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.